Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is going to be this Miley Cyrus Midnight Sky inspired glam. This is like a full, full glam. I haven't done a full phase of glam for a while. So if you guys are interested in this look, this is the look Miley wore in the Tonight Show on Jimmy Fallon. I was trying to look for that music video again, but couldn't find it. This is the look. I just want to show you guys real quick. I think I did pretty good here. So I hope you guys enjoy today's full glam. I give you my tips and tricks for photography, stage kind of a glam this really photographs really really well so i hope you guys enjoy please like this video share with your friends and let's get on with the video okay so we're gonna do the miley cyrus eye tutorial and maybe a full face i'm thinking of like a full face i haven't done a full face with you guys in a minute and yeah let's go ahead and start with the eyes maybe let's start with the brows i look at her brows it feels like it's lightly just filled in that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna brush my brows up and i'm gonna lightly fill it in i've been using this um new palette from borgia and there's a shade it's like a very dark brown and I just use it to fill in my brows lately. Oh, and I'm just gonna go over with some concealer. All right, now let's go in with some eye base. Or Mega Revolution Conceal and Define. I'm gonna prep my eyes. Okay, today we're going to play with Be Perfect Carnival palettes. Shout out to Eugene Makeup for lending me this bad boy to play with. Now we're gonna go into this mint shade just to keep my a little bit of a light wash and Miley has like a really beautiful turquoise blue eyes it's stunning so I guess if you want to be Miley Cyrus for this Halloween you can just pop on a wig do like her makeup and then that's a costume, right? I don't know, what are you guys gonna do for Halloween? It is the new normal. Maybe you go party with your mask on or like somewhere outdoor, I guess, in the States. Actually in Taiwan, it's kind of normal. There's a little bit of that normalcy in Taiwan, you know? All right, I'm just gonna give it like a really light wash. I don't want anything too dramatic for now I'm gonna go into a little bit of the cream white to buff the edges out because I like a more diffused type of a crease all right now I'm gonna jump into the shade called breezy this turquoise goldy metallic i'm just gonna use my finger and i'm gonna press it on i'm gonna leave my inner corner blank because she did a silver so i'm just gonna press this on first I'm gonna lightly just drag it out a little bit. She didn't do any like wing out shape, so I don't want to do it either. All right, now I want to go into my glitter primer on my eyeballs. And I'm gonna go straight into this ColourPop Super Shock shadow. This is stunning. It's called Left on Thread. Super duper 
gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, yes. I'm just gonna press that all over my eye. Okay, I'm back to this brush. I'm just gonna buff the edges a little. You can go back to a little bit of the mint. I'm gonna keep our shape rather like a little rounder. Painter's palette. I'm going to this velvet lining shade and I'm gonna press that on my inner corner. Back with some more glitter primer. And we're gonna go into another ColourPop Super Shock. This already broke. It's a split pan of silver and mint. We're gonna take it a little bit of the silver shade, the leftover silver shade. Now we're gonna press that on. So it's like a liquid metal vibes. Ooh. Very intense for sure. And we're gonna go back to the love on thread. Okay guys, that's the eyes for now. We're gonna go back to it, but before we do, I wanna like move on to the base. So I just moisturize with the Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Essence by Neogens. And I'm gonna give myself a little spray Clary Sage Soothing Toner. I'm just gonna spray that and wait till it dry. All right, so I'm gonna go into more of a full coverage, the Maybelline Super Stay, and then I wanna mix with my leftover. This is like pretty much out. I'm gonna mix with my trusty Warja Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. The Maybelline one is slightly more matte, but it's very full coverage. That's why I have to do this to dug out some products. I don't wanna waste any drops before I buy a new one. And then I wanna give a pump of the Maybelline. Do a little cocktail moment. And I will start working on my face. Can you guys see though? There, so much better. I'm sorry sometimes I don't look at the camera because I wanna know if I'm focused. So sometimes I just like, I'll you know, catch me looking at myself. Trust me, it's not because I want to. <laughs> More like I, I need to check because sometimes it's blurry. It's just not a good look. Okay, I'm just gonna drag uh, the rest of the product and start working on the left side. I want to do like a full coverage type of a beat. Although I don't like full coverage, for the stage, it's it just looks nice, you know, on stage. A full coverage, like the contour and everything. You can go ahead for stage makeup because, you know, if you want to perform, it's better that it's like cement on your skin. Not unless if you have the really beautiful skin, I wouldn't say do the full coverage thing because I don't normally on the daily. I like a lighter medium. Give myself another pump brush. to you know ensure that you lock everything in i'm gonna spray my sponge with 
a setting spray any setting spray would do i'm using the ColourPop pretty fresh setting spray i'm just gonna press everything in just to lock everything down first let's say if you're going to party on halloween or if you're going for like photography makeup i like to do this trick on my clients too and so your makeup stays in place all day long okay now i just kind of want to go in with a little more on the spots where i have some acne scarring before we go into concealer especially my problematic area like around my nose and around the mouth now i'm gonna go into my pamagraph concealer i really want to get a lighter shade around my nose area and then i'm gonna use a brush to blend it out first you guys know i like to use a brush to you know keep the coverage there before i use a sponge a little bit of the concealer on my chin and then pat it over my acne scarring just because it's like very highly concentrated and then I want to go into the sponge and lightly pat it out Okay, just to set everything down, I'm gonna go into the Hemi Flawless Powder Foundation and I'm going to use the sponge. It's nice because this powder is a lot lighter so I can brighten my under eyes and it has a little bit of a blurring properties. powder kind of reminds me of um, the covergirl advanced radiance powder that i love so much i broke that one i was a little heartbroken i'm gonna do a little bit around my forehead around my nose around my mouth A lot of the times for like photography stage makeup i will go into like a contour stick and i'm going to like a little brush get a little bit of that contour before i go into a powder I'll go into a cream and then set it with the powder i probably should do it like before i use the powder I didn't really use the powder around like my contour area, so it should be fine. I'll do a little bit on the sides because you know I have a short forehead, so I only do the sides. I don't like to bring it over here because that's gonna shorten my um, forehead, and I want a long forehead. Just a little bit on the side. Contour I do is like on top. You don't have to drag it all the way. I don't see like I don't see Miley with the really harsh contour either. Oh my god, I was re-watching that video for 
so many times and i think like they, they, somehow they remove it for some reason i don't know why they remove the video doesn't look like she has a harsh contour i'm pretty sure the lights probably eat it all up I'm going to my nose contour. I'm using the Hemi Pro Contour Palette. I'm going to use the deepest mix with the lightest. And I'm going to do the nose contour. I mean, you can certainly use a cream, but I just like I use the powder. It's easier for me to control, but you can definitely use a cream if you want like more like a super harsh look. I personally don't like my nose contour to be too, too harsh. And then I'm going to go back to the flawless foundation powder. I'm going to take the sponge, press it on. Go over the sides just to make sure there's no like a super duper harsh line. So if you want to set the size of your contour, I'm just gonna go into Eternal Brown's Light. The ambient lighting powder. I'm gonna go over these two shades. Buff. Just a little bit of light that luminosity, a little bit of you know, glow and buff out the contour so it's not harsh. And yeah, there's a little bit of a shine. Set the face real quick. Just let the setting spray dry and we're gonna finish the eyes first. I see Miley doesn't seem to have a lot going on underneath her lower lash line and stuff so let's just go back to the shape mint slightly go over okay to just add a little bit of the depth i want to go into the shade a little darker called envy Kind of deepen my outer lower lash line a little and also my lower lash line. So to finish off my upper um, outer corner, I want to go back into Breezy on a smaller fluffy blending brush. Kind of circular motion and kind of buff the edges out because um, she does like a round shape but I want to make sure the shape is nicely like softly blown out Okay, to perfect the blend, I'm going to go into Aura, the matte Aura on the same brush. I'm just going to soften the edges. So it has that really soft fade. Back with a petal brush, I'm gonna pick up the turquoise teal. 
setting spray. Just intensify everything. So it's most like a metal. Bring a little bit on my lower lash line. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going into Aura Metallic. So just to give it like a more metallic finish, I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm. Rarely use it for my face anymore. I just use it for my eyes. I wanna pop that on my inner corner and just use my hand and bring that So let's do a little bit out here. I don't think she really didn't do that, but I want to do that because I like a really poppy inner corner. It just like, oh, makes my soul happy. I'm going to do mascara, pop on some lash. I'll be back to finish the rest of my face. Okay, let's finish off the face. I don't see Miley has a lot of blush on, so I'm just gonna go into something more neutral. I wanna go into this shade right here. It's like a peachy, pinky, peachy type of lip blush. I'm just gonna buff it on. Kind of bring it to like around my temple. To add a little bit of a warmth, I'm just gonna use the powder foundation and kind of clean it up a little. Okay, so for the lips today, we're gonna go for something like kind of like a strawberry red. I'm just gonna line my lips real quick. This is the um, Mina Essential Lip Liner. I'm just gonna give my lips a little bit of a shake. Okay, so for the lipstick today, I choose the VNK. Um, this is the Round Tube Lipstick 03. This is the shade, like a yeah, strawberry type of blue red. Oh yeah. Final step, clean up your lip with your concealer brush. Okay, finally, I want to add some highlights. Colourpop Super Shock Cheeks called Guilty Pleasure. One of my faves. I'm just going to use the sponge. Just a little bit. I want one more like a wet sheen instead of like a stripe. set everything down with a setting spray. Alrighty guys, this is the finished look. What do we think? What do we think? Comment down below. Let me know if you guys like this look. Let me know if there's any celebrities makeup look that you want me to recreate 
and I'll be happy to do so. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.